Stephen Jelly joins us from Team Parker Racing. Um, good start to the season, and things have sort of tailed off since then. What's been the story? Um, yeah, um, obviously, uh, Brand Sanch was very good, um, had some good results, and then uh, we've just been to some circuits that haven't suited our cars and our car, and then um, Knockhill and Alton Park, unfortunately, we suffered um, a couple of little niggly reliability problems in um, races one and two that then put you on the back foot. So, you know, it's still more than possible to have some good results um, going forward. Thruxton wasn't going to suit us. Um, here and the remaining circuits, we should be back on form. Yeah, of the remaining circuits, which in particular suits the BMW? I think um, Croft really is a standout um, for the one series, you know. Um, historically, Croft's always been really, really strong. We should be good here. Um, and, 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 you know, I'm looking forward to Brands Indy. So uh, I've always gone well at Brands Indy. So, you know, we can have a result at any of them. We can still, um, you know, aim for that podium at any of the races left. In terms of upping your game, is there one particular area that you want to, uh, to push on with? Um, it's, it's all about consistency and um, it doesn't sound very rock and roll um, but it's really what what builds that race weekend um, you know it's so close like here we're going to see an incredibly close qualifying session and just those little little tiny details just getting out of the brake pedal at the right rate and just controlling that car and keeping it consistent so you can set the race car up across the weekend is um, is all going to be so close yeah and of course some things are out of your control as well we were talking to Colin Turkington about his experiences at Thruxton in which, you know if you have a problem in the opening race then then the whole day is gone yeah it's yeah it, it's a big shame at Alton Park we had the clutch failure on the grid um, and that um, you know and you're last and there's, there's really nothing you can do the, the times are so close that you know, coming back from that, if everyone's lapping within that sort of half a second window, you catch the back of the train and, it, and in making inroads is so, so difficult. Um, you've really got to be in the game and building over the course of those three races. We'll have a good clean weekend and uh, hoover up some more points. Thank you very much, Steve. Stephen, thanks very much. Thank